What's up everyone, Jason Turley here. Today I'm gonna to show you two ways to change your Kali Linux prompt. Quick, easy, painless. So new versions of Kali Linux use Z Shell. And you can see that with echo dollar sign zero or echo dollar sign shell. Now by default, Z Shell has this two line command prompt. We can see my username and host name on the first line and the second line is where the commands are entered. So this is fine, it works, but I think it's a little bit ugly. It takes up a lot of space. The first and easiest way to change this back to a regular bash prompt is just hitting control P. And I'm toggling between the two prompt layouts. Now bash still uses this by default. So if you don't like using Z cell and you run bash, you're back in that one line prompt. Echo dollar sign zero again and it says I'm in bash. Exit out of that, echo dollar sign zero, and I'm back in Z show. Hit control P to talk between these two. The second way to change your command prompt is to edit the Z show runtime config file. This file simply contains all the settings for your Z show configuration, and you can customize this any way you see fit. I'm in Vim, so I'm gonna search for two line, hit enter, and these are the different ways your prompt can be configured. We see our prompt symbol, K for Kali Linux. And if I'm root, my UID equals zero, we see that the prompt is a skull. The default is the two line prompt that we see. There's also one line in backtrack, which is the OG version of Kali Linux. If you scroll down a bit further, there is a variable named prompt alternative, and it's set to two line. This is your default prompt. So I can change this to one line, save and exit with WQ, update my settings with source, and now I have the one line prompt. I can still hit control P to toggle between them. Just for fun, let's change this one line to backtrack. Spelled that wrong. Save and exit, this time with shift Z Z run that source command again to update the runtime config file. And this is the old backtrack prompt. We see the colors have changed to red. Now hitting control P, it toggles between um, the original two. All right, so why does hitting control P toggle the two prompts? Well, on line 180, we see the function toggle one line prompt is defined. And on line 190, we see the key binding for control P that calls that function. And it simply flips between the two line and the one line functions. If I don't want it to do that, if I wanted to toggle between backtrack and the one line, I can change that here. I hit control P in Vim to auto complete that. Save and exit this time with X. Rerun source with exclamation point source. Yes, that's what I want. Now I'm in my backtrack prompt. Now I can just hit control P and it toggles between backtrack and the bash one, the one line. There you have it guys, a short, sweet video on how you can change your Z shell. I know a lot of people do not like the two line config. It takes up too much space and people miss the OG version of this. That's it for today, guys. Let me know what your favorite shell is, Bash, Z Shell, or SH. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow on Twitter if that thing's still around. Subscribe to the Discord. Take it easy and see you guys in the next video.